Okay, the last three preset announcements, um, they are specific to the semester that you're taking the class, and so I'm not really going to click on them in their entirety, but one will say printed semester schedules. Um, the Photoshop class has a lot of work that needs to be done, and you need to make sure that you stay on top of it, and so I think it's important to print physically print the schedule because you literally can cross things off as you do them and it kind of visually shows you when each module is due and when each chapter and such are, are required to be submitted and you can download these and you can print them on your own or I will print the, the schedule that's attached in the, the dev section, the development section that I create outside the room 1-165 at the South City campus. Um, be prepared though, those are for online classes and so if your on-campus teacher is changing the due dates then you shouldn't be using the online uh, schedule and so if your teacher gave you a different schedule you're going to adhere to the teacher schedule not the one that I'm I'm giving out in the preset announcement although I imagine if your teacher's not following the schedule they'll delete the announcement and you won't even see it okay the last two things I want to talk about are using SLCC all access and using Google Drive uh, when we talk about the syllabus, which we'll talk about in the next um, in the next video, I talk about the idea of open educational resources and how um, in graphic communications, which is an emphasis area within the visual art and design department, we are trying really hard to make it so that you don't have to pay anything for the class after you pay for the class and the course fees. And so when it's time to print and you need paper and ink for the printing. If you come to a campus and you utilize our free printing days, things will be free. Um, you also obviously need Photoshop, and I'm going to say that you need Photoshop, Bridge, Camera Raw, InDesign, and Illustrator. You don't have to write that down right now. Um, that's available for free too if you choose to use our free options. And one of those free options is called SLCC All Access. And so if you click on this image here, it will launch a video which explains the process of accessing all SLCC All Access and you can decide if that's something that works for you or not. Some students say that it's slow sometimes. Um, I think it depends on your computer and things like that but I've had good experience with it as long as you don't try to do too much. Like you don't want to make sure you want to make sure you don't have 50 different programs open at the same time. So if the time comes you need to access Photoshop and you uh, would like to learn more about SLCC All Access use this announcement and then the last announcement are the steps needed to use Google Drive to submit your coursework. So um, Canvas is a learning management system that allows us to present courses and course content and really cool, awesome stuff. And I really like Canvas a lot. But one of the things that I really don't like about Canvas is it has really slow upload times. It could take forever to upload files. And they kind of don't want students to save huge files to Canvas. And it's not a problem if you're taking an English class and you write a 10-page paper. A 10-page paper in Microsoft Word is going to have an incredibly small file size because it's just words on a page. But if you have artwork and files that contain artwork, they can be astronomical in terms of what Canvas kind of really wants you to upload or doesn't want you to upload. And so what I would recommend is, although you are welcome to try to upload your coursework to Canvas, um, I would recommend uploading it to an external site like Google Drive or Dropbox or something like that and then instead of submitting the files you can submit a link to the files. The reason I like Google Drive is because every single person who registers for this class has a Google Drive account whether you realize it or not and so if you click on this announcement you can read through the steps or you can click on the little video at the top and it will go through the process of uploading the coursework. One of the things that I do want to emphasize though is that when you use Google Drive and you use your Bruin Mail email account to log in, um, there's a preset that determines that anything that you post will be marked private by default. And so if you wanted to share it with me or with the class or with anybody else, you need to change the privacy settings. And so I recommend that you either change the privacy settings so that I can access it, anybody with a Bruin Mail can access it, or if you're comfortable, you can just say anybody with the link can access the files. I like that last option. It's the one I choose. Anybody who has a link can, can click the link and they can see the files and they can download them. Okay, the next video we'll move on to the syllabus tab.